the risks of regression to war in post-conflict societies is high when the government and the international community are not able to make strong efforts at key moments and sustain them over time. When we took office, there was no electricity and no water. Schools and clinics have crumbled. Roads were impassable. Institution of governance had completely collapsed. In July of this year, we were able to turn on electricity and water to parts of our capital city, Monrovia, for the first time in 15 years. But time is pressing. Or if our international partners wait too long to ramp up its support, then we may lose the best chance Liberia has had in a generation to end the conflict permanently and build the foundations for growth and prosperity. We cannot afford to let that happen. Liberians are a resilient people. They just want the simple things that most people take for granted. To live their lives in peace, get a good education, to be able to provide for their families. These things are not too much for Liberians to dream about. Poverty reduction strategies are at the core of both averting a return to conflict and establishing the foundation for sustained development. We are placing emphasis on empowering the people, especially the poor and vulnerable, to become participants in a development process. Education is central to renewal and reconciliation. No nation can develop under conditions of a 70% illiteracy rates. Liberia is not a poor country, but a country that has been poorly managed. We are committed to change this, to pursue those goals that will move us from, Christ, from the crisis of the past to the opportunity of the present. We are committed as a people to build a new Liberia from the ashes of an old turbulent past to a future of hope and promise. Thank you.